Hi guys, welcome to a vlog. I don't know why I feel like I need to speak really quietly when the baby's sleeping, even though I know fine well we can talk at full volume. I can, I can even shout in the hallway if I want and she won't wake up. We have some fun stuff coming up. We're going on a family holiday. I thought I would take you guys with me. It's been a really long time since we did a kind of travel vlog, so we go in two days time. Today was the first day back at work since New Year, Christmas and all that. I've just had my bath, I'm all cleansed. For a portion of this video, I'm gonna be working with Fresh and I'm really excited. Fresh, there's actually, I've got a couple of products right behind you, but I love their vitamin enriched nectar spray. I love the hydration mist. I've got the oil infused serum. I've actually got two of these on my desk. But they have a new serum that I'm going to be trialing over the next 10 days. So I'm going to vlog that as well. This is their new Lotus Youth Preserve Resurfacing Dream Serum. It's got some really good claims. So you're meant to use it every night for 10 nights and see the results you get. A lot of the results are like your dark spots and the texture of your skin mostly. So my skin's been through it a little bit recently. I've talked about it a little bit. I accidentally gave myself a little bit of a burn on my cheeks which is totally cleared up and I've got this little funny patch on my chin which looks like it's getting much better but I might just I don't know we'll try it tonight I'm definitely in the need of some TLC so one of the the kind of biggest claims that they've got is that it's really gentle so it gently resurfaces your skin with no irritation which I'm very much looking forward to so tonight is night one just gonna give myself some hydration first we'll go through a full routine when we're on holiday but I wanted to show you the like day one almost so here's my skin before I've got some scarring on my cheek from blemishes I've got this funny little patch which I don't know and I think overall I'm just gonna like lacking radiance more than anything I'm gonna use two to three pumps which is what they say oh my god that smells unreal I've not got any kind of sensation definitely like a serum texture but it's quite creamy Okay, yeah, I can't feel any kind of tingling or anything. Oh, I'm excited. I'm just going to put some moisturiser on top. Okay, so I'm going to tell you some of the claims. So 23% smoother skin texture after one application. So that's like tonight. So I'll show you my skin tomorrow. And then after 10 nights, consumers saw less visible dark spots and more radiance. Oh my god, this is fun. Key ingredients we've got are AHAs, so glycolic and citric acid. We've got prickly pear flower extract, super lotus, polyglutamic acid, that's one of my favourite ingredients. And then we've also got peach leaf extract, which is very calming as well. It seems to me like a nice option for a really gentle kind of daily exfoliant, which I'm all about. That's my homework to do. I can't believe how good it smells. I'm feeling quite smug with myself because I packed Romy's case last year. No, I didn't. I packed my own case. I still need to do Romy's case. As far as baby clothes go, in the middle of winter it's not ideal but I think she'll still fit in some of her summer stuff honestly because it was far too big for her. I feel so lucky to be escaping to some sunshine. I'm literally back at work for like two days. I hammered it today. I'm going to hammer it tomorrow and then we leave the next day. The last time we were away with Romy was when she was three and a half months old. She was like a proper little baby. She couldn't roll over. She couldn't like nowhere near moving around but she can move now. My goodness she can move. So I think it's going to be different I think it's gonna be different when we went away and she was three and a half months old as well her sleep was all over the shop so she was waking up a few times a night to feed she would nap for like half an hour here and there but not really whereas now she has her one and a half hour nap in the morning her two hour nap in the afternoon and she sleeps touch wood most of the time six half six till half six so we're going to try and stick to the same schedule it, just with a different time zone we're going to basically match the time zone here at home at, when we're away we're not going to try and acclimate at all which i think is the best idea and i just can't wait i'm so excited i hope i can read some of my book when she's sleeping and i'm going to show you loads when we're away it's going to be very very chill and i hope you're excited to come along <laughs> I feel like every time you see me I'm freshly bathed. <laughs> I didn't film anything today because it was my last day of work. I've literally been back at work for two days and then I'm back on annual leave. I feel so lucky. As soon as I shut my laptop tonight I got properly like buzzy holiday mode. I'm not even that nervous about the flight. I will walk around for the whole time with Romy if I have to. It's a night flight so it should, it should go We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Anyway, her suitcase is open downstairs with pretty much everything we need. It is definitely more difficult packing for a almost eight month old who's eating than 
a three and a half month old that was breastfeeding slash I was like pumping and stuff. The pumping wasn't ideal when I was on holiday, but so the suitcase it's like heavy. It's gonna be heavy. We're taking like milk and stuff with us. I'm gonna do my treatment again. My skin today feels really, really good. It feels smooth. I just did my normal skincare routine this morning and it was like glowy. I've not wore I didn't wear makeup today. I pulled some of my other fave fresh products and I've actually got two new ones to try with this routine. So I washed my face with the soy face cleanser. I'm gonna use the kombucha facial essence these are amazing because a big thing will last you actually ages you just need a few drops and just pat that in really not i've used this tons before this is a really nice antioxidant this little pack from my tin is no angry at all it's just kind of doing its own thing i don't really know what to do next i'm going to put eye cream on this is the lotus youth preserve eye cream this is new to me i've said before but i'm really loving an eye cream at the moment just because my eyes have never been so tired Right, okay, serum time. It's not got a cap, you just literally twist it. One, two, three. It smells like something and I can't put my finger on it, but it's so nice. I'm just gonna put this on. And then when I'm away, cause I'll be in the sunshine, I'll just use SPF every day, which I do anyway, but if you're using anything that's like resurfacing, just make sure that you're putting your SPF on. Honestly, no sensation at all, which especially since my skin, since my skin's been a wee bit more sensitive recently, I'm so glad. It's really, really gentle. And then I'm gonna use the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. And I'm just putting a nice layer of this on to lock all of that in. And that smells good too. I'm just gonna bring that right down my neck. This time of year my skin is always so dry because of having the heating on and going from cold to hot. That feels great. I'm excited to see the results. Our flight tomorrow doesn't leave until 20 past three in the afternoon, which is actually so nice. It means that we can get Romy up, get her all fed and on schedule. And I think we're just resigned to the fact that we know that our schedule won't be perfect when we're away but as long as she's sleeping enough and eating enough hopefully she'll have the best time if she's the same wee baby as she was when we went to italy she's gonna love being in the heat i think you know what babies are like they just love being naked outfits wise i was convinced i cannot trust my brain i cannot trust my mind right now i was convinced that i'd placed a h&m order for her that had a few couple of little dresses and a swimming suit and i didn't i just didn't i realized it hadn't arrived and i was like what i hope it arrives today and then i checked my emails and i checked my account and i've just not placed the order but it's not in my basket either but then i checked my bank and no money's come out so i'm starting to lose the plot apparently we've got stuff from when she was a bit younger that still fits great that was a bit bigger on her a couple of just like little vests that i was thinking vest and a nappy is that cruelty? She'll love it. She loves having her wee chunky legs out. It's her favorite thing in the world. And then we're just packing her like travel pram, where we're going, which I'm sure actually you'll know by the, mm, well, you know. Yeah, you'll know by the time you watch this. We're going to Dubai. It's that perfect weather. It's far, but it's not too far. It's just like a sure thing. And we're going to an all-inclusive as well. So we're gonna leave to go to the mall maybe like one day and then we're just gonna chill the rest of the time. And there's loads of fun stuff for Romy to like look at and swim in. And she can't obviously do any of the kids clubs or anything, but she can go and watch. So I just think it's gonna be really cute. We're not there for like a huge amount of time. We're going for, I think it works. I think it's like five nights, which is perfect. Cause I need, I did need to get back to work. This is quite last minute that was booked. And one of the other reasons that we are even going away is and this is a great hack for anyone if you're smart with air miles if you get if you get an amex a british airways amex once you spend a certain threshold you get like buy one get one free flights and then as you spend with your american express you get avios so you can use the buy one get one free ticket and the avios towards the flight price so the flights were a really great price um but the voucher was expiring at the end of february so I looked at diary, this is the only time that we could do and it's really close to like after Christmas and New Year but which I don't think we've ever gone away this close to New Year so it felt kind of, it felt kind of crazy it worked out, it worked out great so I'm buzzing, I'm really buzzing so I hope we get a good night's sleep tonight I hope Romy gets a good night's sleep tonight and we're all good to go for tomorrow I'm going to finish packing our case and you'll be very happy to know that this, this won't be the setup the next time you see me see you tomorrow, bye my case is getting better and better like so like normal just a normal case i've got really nice like skincare and stuff to take with me as a treat and then look at this is Romy. it's absolute chaos i need to fit all of this in that case apart from that's our nappy bag oh god you know i just i've never thought about it it's like what if we're delayed what if we're stuck in the airport there's no point in thinking like that though but it's like i'll definitely over over prepare what we're taking on the plane to be safe 
and I had her in our carrier. She woke up a wee bit early this morning, so I put her in the carrier when I was doing some stuff around the house. And it was so nice. She was just like cuddling in, and then she started getting sleepy, and I was like, right, great, so she can still sleep in her carrier because it's been a while since I did that. So I'm just thinking we can do that. <laughs> we can do that the whole time if we need to. Traveling with a kid especially a baby, like remembering that the, mo the most important person and the, really the only person I care about is Romy. We've been on a few flights with her, I think if you add them all, I think we've been on like four flights in total with her and all of them were great and she, you know, there was one that she didn't make a peep, there was one that she had like a little cry and then there was one where she was crying when we first got on the plane and then we were kind of waiting about for a bit, we were kind of stuck in the tarmac and that was on the way to London and that was the only instance that I had any kind of like shit attitude around me. There was like a man in front who turned around and was like, oh because she was upset and it made, I'm surprised at my reaction. I thought I would literally be like that, ah, she's a baby. Um, but it made me, made me get upset because I was just like, oh, I don't obviously want her to be crying. And I felt bad, I felt bad for having her on the plane, but it was so worth it, it was so worth it. She loved, she loved that trip. Anyway, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop overthinking. That's so much easier said than done, isn't it really? Um, but the baby's napping, I'm gonna literally go around. We've got like a mental pack lunch. This isn't usually like what she'd eat at home, but we've literally just got like easy stuff that she'll love. I've downloaded Miss Rachel on my phone. <laughs> I am not above giving her a YouTube video to watch on the plane if it keeps her happy. It might look messy, but this is her whole life. Do bad. For about two hours, Jack, we been doing the same thing. We'll take turns. I'm so tired. So we've got all our stuff. We're gonna board in like an hour. It's already an hour past her bedtime. She's not crying though, which is all I really care about. But she will. <laughs> she will. <laughs> We got here yesterday quite early in the morning, like 10 o'clock, and we spent yesterday settling in and figuring out the hotel and oh my god, it's great. It's great. We're staying at the Rixos, the Pram, so we're right at the end of the Pram, but it's all-inclusive, so it's like ultra all-inclusive, and I'm working with them on Instagram, and we got a PR discount, which is so nice. Romy absolutely thrives in a sunny climate. She loves being outside, she loves the water, she loves just rolling about, She's she loves having no clothes on. <laughs> and I just, this is, the, right now she's napping, so that's our room right there, and my biggest tip is to bring a speaker, so we've, we've we play Misty Mountains to help her get to sleep and we've just left it on and she's been sleeping now for an hour and 15 minutes already. Me and Jack just come out here and sunbathe, work on our phones, read, I've been reading loads, drink, I've drank so much water and look at the view, look at this. This is literally what I'm looking at down there, they're setting up some kind of fun inflatable course. All this stuff, I, I honestly I want to come back when Romy's a bit bigger because she would absolutely love it here. There's a kids club as well that's it's like award winning but that's our view, so that's like the Pam, and we're right at the end, and then that's like the stock of the Pam, if you know what I mean. What's amazing about this hotel is that Romy can come everywhere, so we went for like a really nice dinner, and she was just allowed to come with us. It's so family friendly, like there's kids everywhere, which is not everyone's vibe, but when you've got your own, you kind of want to be somewhere that's 
I don't know if she kicks off, it's fine because there's like a million other babies here. The pool plays really good music, the beach plays even better music, really like chilled out. We've got a cabana as well which we're going to go down to in about an hour. Just chill. It's so, it's so, so good. The food's great. Last night's dinner was so nice. There's a buffet for breakfast and lunch. And I'll, I'll be honest, I used to turn my nose off at a buffet. I think it's because China Buffet King gave me food poisoning one time. But the buffet's great and it means Romy's obviously weaning so we can like take little bits and let her try different bits of food and stuff. Tomorrow's plan, we're going to go to the mall. I've not got sunglasses on, which is why I'm doing this. We're going to go to the mall in the morning, but we're just going to chill by the hotel today. It's, it's so nice because you don't actually need to leave if you don't want. I mean, Dubai, there's so much fun to be had. There's so much to do, but see, this time of the year, we were just really wanting to like relax. I showed you the room a little bit already. The room's perfect. It's like so spacious. The bathroom's great. The bath's great for Romy again. I had a shower last night, not a bath, but I don't know why. I feel like we packed really well. We've not really wanted for anything yet. Packing our food and milk and stuff was scary, but it all got here fine. We're waiting with bated breath to see if all our stuff arrived, and it did. That's one thing I don't know what I would do if like Romy's big case didn't arrive. You'd have to like go to the shop. You'd have to go to like find a Tesco or something which I know that they do have Tesco here. I think that if you've got a baby who's having like big naps through the day, Romy's not amazing at napping in her pram anymore. I think the pram we've got is the yo-yo and it is really good, but it's not quite flat enough for her to sleep. And she's so tall that her wee legs hang out the bottom. And I think that wakes her up. But we'll try, we will try and get her a wee nap outside tomorrow when we're at the mall. If you're on the move in the pram, it works really well. The same thing's happened since the last time we went on holiday. Romy's all unpacked and it's all like, we all know where everything is. My stuff's just everywhere. I don't know if I'll ever change, but it's the room's a mess already. The room's a mess. But that's the update. We woke up this morning pretty early. Our Romy's routine, we're gonna stick to it when it comes to like feeds, uh, like her bottles and her food but her naps, they're just a bit early, but we're just gonna figure it out when we get home. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves and not be too strict and just make sure she's sleeping enough. But last night she slept great. She slept right next to me, which I love. <laughs> she was in her little travel cot and I literally woke up to her smiling, staring at my face. She's so funny this trip as well. She's like got a proper personality. She's been chatting away and smiling at people. And I'm gonna insert a clip that made me cry last night at dinner. <laughs> But it was just, it was, it was too cute. Romy did not care, but I was, I had proper big tears in my eyes because it was just the sweetest thing ever. It's great, I'll show you more of the hotel as well. But we're just loving it, I'm cooking. This is our cabana that we're, they're pretty much going to live at. We've got the pram, this is the, this is the pram and it is actually great. We're just yet to see if she can get a good sleep in it. It's all been a bit exciting. And then, this is the view, this is the beach. It's so, so good. I did take Romy to the sea and dipped her feet in, but it's actually freezing. So she put her wee legs up like this. <gasps> I've never eaten so much fruit in my life. It's so good. Free to dinner tonight, and it was so good. There's a bar here that's open till oh, there's open till like two in the morning, which is sorry, I'm like multitasking. Jack went to the toilet. It's open till two in the morning. We've obviously not stayed up till two in the morning, far from it. But they were doing karaoke tonight, and it was so fun. It's a wee bit loud for her when it starts, so we so we left. But there, there was a guy from Oxford who went on the stage. It was he was like, I'm gonna sing Shaggy Angel, and me and Jack were like, okay. And he started singing it and he was singing the wrong he was singing normally and then he started putting on the accent like my appreciation <laughs> it was actually so good but it was so bizarre this is where we get to the stage of the night where it's pro project keep the baby awake because we can't have her going to bed too early because she'll wake up at equivalent uk time like three in the morning and we can't have that Dubai is four hours ahead, which is it's actually perfect because we can put her to bed at half ten at night and that's like half six back home. So it's the same as back home. You're doing really well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. 
So that's what we did yesterday. We put her to bed. I think it was half ten we man or ten o'clock we managed. I mean Jack fell asleep at ten and then we all woke up at half eight, which again is really nice, like fine. That was a that was a lie in for us because technically we fell asleep at half ten as well. So we never go to bed at that time back home, but we did not sleep on the plane at all, not a wink. But dinner tonight was so good again. That place we Jack I'm not joking, Jack ordered three portions of one of the things. It was like a wagyu buna bin or something. Um that Jack ordered three portions of it. We had some wine with the dinner and you had your dinner as well. It's the most baby friendly place I've ever seen in my life. There's high there, it's just because there's kids everywhere of all ages. No matter how I think brazen you are when you have a baby, you always do think, are people going to get upset if the baby kicks off? And there's some places that you don't want a baby crying in the corner and stuff like that, but here it's like you don't even need to worry because everyone's got a kid or has had a baby at that stage. Oh my god, look, there's a baby literally chatting away over there. It's the best, it's the best, isn't it? She's honestly having the best. I've never seen her so happy. Right, the battery's going to die, which is perfect. So, say goodnight. <laughs> You're trying to compete with the cult of prayer. We're in the mall and I forgot how big this place is but I'm really, I'm really excited. We're going to a cafe and we're going to meet Layla and our son and Rowan's going to meet a new friend. It's so nice being here and being able to like catch up with pals. But I've not seen Layla since I think before Covid but it'll be really really good. So we're going to get something to eat and then we're going to have a wonder and then we, we thought we were going to stay here for ages. Oh there it is. Oh Jack I don't know if this is the right one. We're not at Dubai Mall at all, we're at Mall of the Eminence, which we kind of knew that they were still, we were like, oh, is this, I don't, I don't remember any of this. We're getting the metro to the correct mall. Oh god, we have a overtired baby. We just, well actually we just met Leila for lunch with her son Rahim and it was really really good. We went to a place called, Le what's it called? Leto? Leto. Leto. Food was great. Romy accidentally spilled my coffee all over me and I was going to get something else to wear it but kind of like almost needing to get home or something something needs to happen so we're gonna we're gonna go and see the aquarium but I could spend all day in here it's so good oh I've not seen one of them in ages I loved that shop when I was young how nice we can't take anything home with us though really can we but we're going to find the aquarium the amount of people that are walking past that smell unbelievable. That's the only thing that I really wanted to maybe buy was a perfume, but I think we're just gonna have to call it a day and get this baby home or in a car so she can sleep. Uh, yeah, I could spend all day here, all day. I know it's really backlit, but see this situation. These big muslins are from Jelly Tots and they are so good because they're huge, they're really, really soft and we just put them over the pram and we just rocked Romy back and forth here to get her to sleep and it worked perfectly. My other biggest hack is to have a speaker, so bring a speaker from home and we play Misty Mountains, I think I've said this already, but we play Misty Mountains just to get her to sleep and then we can turn it off, but it makes, <laughs> it makes the biggest difference, it really, really works. And we're gonna let Romy sleep for maybe like 50 minutes, wake her up for her dinner and then we're gonna keep her awake till like 11 o'clock at night this time, which is seven back home and it means that she sh should sleep better, but our schedule's a wee bit all over the place. We're back at this little spot having a beer before dinner. Our trip to the mall was really nice, but it's a shame that we ended up at the wrong mall because it took about like 40 minutes to get from one to the other. And it did, it kind of set off Romy's schedule or whatever. So by the time we were coming home, she was so tired and she was cranky, but she hadn't had her lunch yet. So we've been like a wee bit back, back and forth, but we went down to our little cabana at like five o'clock. We had 45 minutes down there. We went swimming with her. We took some like nice pictures, took some videos to send back home. And then we just got wet up and got ready. Another thing that I brought from home that I really recommend is a travel bath. We've got the one from Sto Stocky, Stock, and it's like a travel bath, but it's like a little rectangle that she, because Romy can sit up herself now, she can just sit up and hold the sides and she just has a splash about and we get her nice and clean. And we do her bath routine early here. So usually we do our bath and then put her to bed, but here we do our bath and we go for dinner and then when we get up to the room, we just put her to bed and it works really good. But I honestly, see when I was like walking her back and forward, there's a mum over there that's doing the same thing. There's a mum in there that was like rocking her baby. This is, I cannot tell you. 
how family friendly it is. It's so it's so so nice. And all the all the mums obviously all look at you. I mean dads as well, but all the mums like look at each other and they're like, oh. and it's just it's just the best. And then the fact that it's all inclusive as well. But I'm already gutted that we're not staying here longer. I, I, we've the way that the flights worked. We got here like early in the morning one day, so we needed to book a room, and then we're leaving really late one night, so we had to book the room. I could easily stay here for like at least like a week. Now we've got like two full days. We've got two more nights and two full days, and then we leave late on like Tuesday. I think we have to leave for the airport at maybe like 10 at night, which I thought was a genius idea for only sleeping, but now I'm not sure, and I'm a bit nervous about the flight home, but we've done it once, and it was fine. Even if I have to like stand up there in our carrier the whole time, I don't care, because it was worth it. It was so worth it. This is where we're sitting for breakfast. It's so good. We green juice, a coffee, and I've been getting a cheese and onion omelette every day. In the cabana, they give you like these little water sprays, and I'm just spraying the baby with it, and she loves it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I look shattered today. No, we didn't sleep great last night. Did you? No. So I actually I brought her into bed with me at half five. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's our last date. We've just literally spent it. I actually got a massage this morning and it was the best. It was so good. And then we've just been chilling at this cabana and me and Jack were just talking about this. Romy has learned how to be the biggest rascal on this trip. And she's got two teeth, two little snaggle teeth which hurt. That's another, I think that she's learned how to be a rascal but she's also, she's like, she's quite menacing with her, the, the grabbing and the twisting. She, she picked my nose one morning so hard that it bled. She's literally just rolling about in her nappy. It's her favourite thing. Well actually her favourite thing is to be completely naked but we're waiting on you to do it, the toilet. Which needs to happen my girl. She's also, I honestly think, 24 hours away from proper crawling and it's been so much fun, it's been the best but me and Jack are tired. <laughs> A lovely energetic family holiday. It's definitely no joke but it is so worth it for like the memories and stuff. Usually our naps have been brilliant but we've, we've completely gone off track our schedule. She's had like three 40 minute naps at random times. She's gone renegade. She refused the bottle one day but she ate loads today so who flipping knows what's going on. But you just you have to lose yourself to it don't you? Weather's been perfect my goodness and actually this is me and Jack's second time in Dubai. Romy's first. I liked it the first time but I really liked it this time. It's pure open my eyes and like it's just, it is actually just such a good, like a good place. We're gonna go and get packed because we leave the hotel at 10 o'clock tonight to get back and then I've got a meeting tomorrow <laughs> at 3 p.m. Alas, Romy, anything to add? Ta -da. Right, it's just about to go 10 o'clock at night. Let's do this. Oh, I'm scared. Hi guys, we're home. That was quite the journey home. We got home yesterday and Romeo was amazing on the plane but Jack took a little bit unwell and oh, it was just a bit of a slog for him but we got home all in one piece albeit um, tired it's a shame that Jack wasn't well but he, he's feeling much better now. Romeo literally slept on me for like six out of the eight hour flight and then from London to Glasgow she was amazing. She was a wee bit, a wee bit upset at one point just because she was tired but she did great. She went to bed tonight like clockwork. Her routine's been really good today. I'm just doing my skincare routine. I'm really excited because I think my skin's looking really good. I thought it was looking really good on holiday as well. Yeah, I'm just buzzing. So we're going to do my routine. I'm just started off. I'm just doing the same routine. So I took all this with me to Dubai and I was doing it every night. Tomorrow marks day 10. So I'll, I'll show you my skin again tomorrow in the morning just because it maintains the glow really well. Like I wake up and my skin's amazing and I think it's the serum but also that cream, the dream cream. Oh. I think it's my new favourite. We talked a wee bit about ingredients and stuff before. I want to I want to read you the blurb, right? <laughs> the duo of AHAs promotes skin cell turnover, supporting skin in its nighttime renewal mode. I remember that from when I worked on counter. Glycolic acid penetrates the deepest level, breaking down and detaching dead skin cells, while citric acid works on the outermost layer, boosting skin radiance. I honestly cannot believe how gentle this product is. You'll see I get no redness at all, which is, for me just now, is really rare. I'm gonna use my eye cream. So we got home yesterday and literally 
put Jack to bed because he needed to sleep because Jack did not sleep with light at all. I actually managed to get a little bit of kip when Romy was on me sleeping but I literally I put Romy to bed or put Jack to bed. I had a bath and we just had like a reset day. I had to move my meetings and stuff but was back to work today and it was really good and I went and got my hair done by Jack Baxter. I just got a toner. How good? I'm like how? I know. Skin and hair to match. Bloody glowing. My tan's crap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use my Lotus Youth Preserve Resurfacing Dream Serum at that. It is a bloody dream. One, two, three. The biggest difference, I think, in my skin since starting the serum is the texture. I'm using my Dream Face Cream. I really, really noticed when I was away that when I wore makeup, it just sat so well. And it looked like radiant. I took a few pictures this morning on my skin that I'll put in and I just could not believe how glowy I was. I usually break it quite badly when I'm on long plane journeys, but because I was exfoliating every day, I just don't think my skin had a chance. On day nine, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you my skin on day 10. And we'll do a little before and after. I had such a good day back at work today. Really good meeting. I'm so excited about this year. So it's currently quarter past seven. How good it's so early. I've had my bath, I'm fed, the baby's in bed. Um, but that's quarter past 11 Dubai time. So me and Jack are gonna literally get in bed, watch The Traitors. <laughs> Flipping love that TV show. Jack's on an early flight down to London for work. I just, yeah, I'm feeling really good. I, even though the journey home was different than what we expected with Jack taking ill, we did have a really good time. It was so good. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. I've just done my skincare routine this morning, put my SPF on and stuff. I am ready to sign the vlog off. I actually just watched it and I, oh god, we just had such a nice time. Honestly, I miss it already. I miss the sunshine. I think that that, well that's my 10 days up for using the Fresh Lotus Dream Serum. I'm dead impressed. I absolutely love it. I think that I can see a big difference in my skin. I mean, my skin, I've again watching the video, I'm, I'm dead lucky with my skin. My skin was looking pretty good at the start, but you can see it's like glass skin. And this little patch on my chin is really calmed down, which I've been using this all over my face. I've not skipped that little part. I thought at one point I was like, oh, I don't know if anything exfoliating is a good idea for it, but it's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I need to take my after pictures, but let me pick you up. Here's my skin after. All in all, I think a really successful trip. In watching it, I know that there's probably more Romy than I've ever really shown on YouTube before, but I love it so much. And uh, I hope you guys did as well. It, uh, it's not to say that I'm gonna start vlogging her loads at home or anything like that, but just when we were away, I just thought, She's just too, she's too sweet. Thank you so much Fresh for working with me on this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little travel moment. That being said, we didn't really travel that much today. We literally went to the hotel and then didn't leave because it was too good. Feeling really happy and really, really grateful. So thank you again guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you live your life. You can just, you do what you want. You let me know. I'll keep you safe. Look at these wee happy toes, happy toes, happy toes, happy toes. What are you doing to poop? Louise oh, pooing at the dinner table. You're pooping at the dinner table. It's the most, oh god, hello, what's happening? Oh, bye bye. Ah!